Hi, ParatonWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday morning, September 20th. The threat exists this week for some heavy rainfall in the Mid-Atlantic region, probably in the Thursday, Thursday night time frame, as there will be a very slow-moving frontal system working its way through the Mid-Atlantic region for today. Some heavy rainfall across the Tennessee Valley, uh, partly as a result of the residual effects of a tropical system from over the weekend and late last week. It looks like this frontal system will work its way across the Mid-Atlantic region late in the week and that will be followed by some cooler than normal conditions for the end of the week and the upcoming weekend. But again, before we get there, we could have another significant rain event on the way. First of all, let's take a quick look at the tropical scene here. Peak time of the year for the Atlantic Basin and we do have uh, numerous systems on the table right now, but none of these will have any impact anytime soon on the continental U.S. First of all, we have Peter and Rose and a new wave off the west coast of Africa and another tropical wave out, out across the North Atlantic. We had another one of these short-lived type tropical systems, Odette, over the week and that has uh, dissipated right now. But again, a lot of activity but nothing imminent in terms of any impact on the U.S. mainland. Well, again, a lot of rainfall expected over the next few days in the eastern third of the nation. Some uh, flooding rain today in the Tennessee Valley as a res result of some tropical moisture left over from Nicholas. And then a very slow-moving cold frontal system will push through the mid-Atlantic region slowly Thursday into Thursday night time frame, causing some occasional showers and possible thunderstorms. And some of that rain can be heavy at times. This is uh, the uh, results of the tropical system over the next couple of days. And here in the Mid-Atlantic region, all of this will be generally Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday night time frame associated with a slow-moving frontal system. This is the total forecast map for the next five days by NOAA's uh, uh, Weather Prediction Center. Again, much of the eastern half of the nation getting some significant rainfall over the next few days. Well, let's walk through the setup that could bring a significant rain event to the Mid-Atlantic region later in the week. First of all, we're starting off with high-pressure ridging centered over the eastern part of Canada. But watch what happens as we go through the next couple of days. We have an upper-level system that really ends up being quite impressive for this time of the year over the uh, upper part of the Midwest by the time we get to early Wednesday. That only slowly works its way to the east and again we'll have a very slow moving frontal system in here that will allow for the possibility of some significant rainfall Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday night time frame. Places like DC, Philadelphia, New York City as that front works its way through. It does get on out of here by the time we get to the end of the work week on Friday. Cooler than normal air pushes in and then watch on the heels of that, there'll be another developing upper level low across the eastern third of the nation and likely resulting in more below normal temperatures for the eastern part of the nation through the weekend and into the early part of next week. Well, in fact, let's take a look at those temperatures and the temperature pattern over the next several days. We're starting off with above normal conditions in much of the eastern part of the nation, but look at this, a cooler than normal air mass presses into the middle part of the nation by early tomorrow and there is a slow moving frontal system right in between these air masses here that will lie over the midwest by later tomorrow cooler than normal air behind it warmer than normal ahead of it and it works its way slowly through the mid-atlantic region again we're talking wednesday night thursday maybe not until thursday night or even early friday when that front finally clears the east coast and cooler than normal air will in fact push in by the end of the work week. This is late Thursday, Thursday night and Friday time frame and as we mentioned earlier another upper level system will press into the eastern states and the Great Lakes uh, over the upcoming weekend into the early part of next week and that too is likely to result in some cooler than normal conditions out across uh, the eastern states. This is the forecast map of 850 millibar temperature anomalies a week from now, next Monday, September 27th. Well, how does all this translate to the surface weather conditions? Let's take, take a look here at last night's operational run of the GFS at 6Z last night. High pressure 
exists this morning and will tend to control the weather over the next couple of days in the northeastern part of the nation. But a lot of moisture still exists over the Tennessee Valley, some of which is uh, leftover moisture from a tropical system named Nicholas a, a few days ago. And then we see the incoming frontal system across the Great Lakes on Tuesday and it only slowly moves to the east here is the Wednesday afternoon forecast map and here is that same front in the eastern part of the Ohio Valley and out ahead of it a broad southerly flow of air will push in a lot of moisture from the southeastern states into the mid-Atlantic region again I think it's setting us up for some heavy rainfall uh, across the I-95 corridor region probably Wednesday night Thursday Thursday night time frame this is the GFS forecast scenario and I think it's probably a little bit fast with the, the movement of this frontal system. The European model tends to be a little bit slower and probably more accurate than this. This is the forecast map for Thursday morning. Again, I, I still think Thursday itself presents a threat for some heavy rainfall in the eastern states with that slow moving frontal system. It does finally get off the coast by the time we get into the day on Friday. Cooler than normal air moves into the eastern U.S. and it looks like an upper level trough will set up here over the Midwest and then into the eastern states and that will tend to continue below normal temperature pattern that will move in Friday and Saturday and it looks like it will last right into the early part of next week. By the way, Friday and Saturday and Sunday look like a, a very nice days with pleasantly cool conditions in much of the eastern third of the nation following that slow moving frontal passage a Thursday, Thursday night time frame, and again, could result in a significant rain event in the Mid-Atlantic region during the second half of the week. That's it for now. For Paratonweather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.